Stevie Batista. Good morning, I'm Maya Uvella. And this is your Daily Bulletin. Uh, Mid-School Lady Braves Volleyball uh, has a game today at 4 at Taos. Early release is at 1.15 and they leave at 1.30. Braves football versus Española is canceled for today. And everybody, today there is COVID screening for Cohort A from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget, there are free SFIS packs available at the academic office. Pick one up today and fulfill all your school storage needs. Hey. <laughs> uh, Lady Braves basketball players, open gym is now starting after school and in the evenings. Tuesdays from 6 to 7.30 and Wednesdays from 4 to 5.30 at the Pueblo Pavilion. All middle school and high school players who are not currently in a sport are welcome and contact Coach Terry or Co Coach Martinez for more information. High school students, the academic building do not open until 7.50 a.m. with the exception of MST that opens at 7.30. Please do not follow teachers into the humanities, FPA, HEB, or Chavez pavilion and wait for the doors to unlock at 750. The reason for this is that the academic staff and teachers report to work at 750. Thank you for respecting the school procedures. The Cultural Exchange Club is seeking new members. They are a club that travels to different places sharing culture. They have visited places and tribes in New York State, San Francisco, Seattle, and Hawaii. Grades 7 through 12 are welcome, and anyone interested in joining can attend the introductory meeting in the Pueblo Dining Hall today during lunch, sponsored by Superintendent Abeda. Attention 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students. Are you interested in becoming a doctor, a nurse, an anesthesiologist, whatever the heck, or any other health career? Become part of the Dream Makers Club and let us help you get on the right path to obtain your dream job. Join us on Thursday, September 15, 2022 in MST. 7th, Mr. Skeets' classroom during lunch for first meeting, Mr. Joseph Skeets and Ms. Jolene Crispin. Are you feeling lucky? Please purchase your raffle t tickets from an ACES <laughs> member or from Ms. Salvatera in MST3. One ticket for $2 and three for $5. Drawing will be held at halftime during the homecoming football game and prizes are included. Yeah. The next ACES meeting is Thursday, September 15th at 11.40 in MST3. The new and bold Future Indigenous Educators Club will have their first informational meeting today in Marta's classroom, Humanities 118 at 11.40. There is a need and demand for more Indigenous educators, so take the first step in becoming an agent of change. See you there. The Santa Fe Indian School chess teams are forming for our first chess meet on October 10th. Your last day to join. These competitive teams will be meeting today. Practices are Monday and Wednesday at lunch MST um, room 8. Let's go. Hello, my name is Remy Martinez, and the Santa Fe Indian School chess teams are forming our first chess meet on October 10th. Your last day to join these competitive teams will be meeting today. Practices are on Monday and Wednesday at lunch in MST8. And guess what? Seneca Yellow Horse won the Ames Chess Tournament this past weekend. There were over 100 players in the tournament. Seneca won the reserve section for ratings above 1,800. Congratulations to our number one chess player for representing the school and himself in this chess tournament. Good job, Seneca. The 10th grade team is happy to announce our class officers. Please help us to congratulate them. President Emma Lewis, Vice President Asia Galvadon, Secretary Denisha Padilla, Treasurer Janine Setlakai, Historian Damon Kreese. The eSports team will meet again on Mondays and Wednesdays during lunch and after school. We will be in HEB 105. If you would like to know more information, please contact Ms. Meyer. Seniors and parents, there is a training on the free application for federal student aid or FAFSA sponsored by the New Mexico Educational Assistance Foundation or NMEAF. The actual date you may begin to apply is October 1st for the 2023-2024 school year. Visit the Albuquerque College Fair on Sunday, September 18th at the Albuquerque Convention Center from 12 to 3 p.m. 
Take your parents so they can attend informative sessions about financial aid, housing, student support, native student services, health center, athletics, and more. Today's lunch is red chili stew, oven bread, potato salad, fruit, and milk. Today it is 72 degrees outside with a 20% chance of rain. Thank you, Thank for, you watching for watching and have, have an amazing, amazing day. day. Good morning, I am Angelique. Today for Community Message Wednesday, I will be asking Officer Justin Williams some questions. Officer Williams is our school resource officer from the BIA Northern Pueblos Agency. You may see Officer Williams on campus keeping us safe and you may see him playing kickball with students during lunch. Officer Williams, can you tell us about yourself? Where I'm from is I'm from Washington State. The city town Yakima, Washington. I grew. I was born and raised in Yakima. I have a family of four, three children, and a wife. The position I cover now is school resource officer for Bureau of Indian Affairs, Northern Pueblos Agency. You said you were you are from Washington. What made you move to New Mexico? Moving to New Mexico. My wife is actually from Kiwa, so I decided to move her closer to home. She wanted to move home, so I moved her home. Have you always been interested in law enforcement? What inspired me to be a police officer was that I got to work with, along with Native American people. I have a passion of working for Native American people. They are my people and I would like to help them succeed, whether it's for good or for bad. I've been a police officer for since 2016. First, I was in Yakima Nation working as a police officer for about three and a half years, then I moved down here to New Mexico. What are some tips that students can do to help with school safety? In emergency situations such as lockdown, lockouts, and fire drills, what I suggest is you listen to your teachers. They will help keep you safe in any emergency situation. For suspicious activity, if you see something, say something. Let a teacher know, let a staff know. Let myself know or any other BIA officer know. If it's hard for you to tell, us, tell somebody, let another student know. They'll be able to tell a staff member. What's your favorite things about SFIS? My favorite thing about SFIS is the culture. Students come from various different pueblos and tribes. However, you guys all have similarities within each other. You guys all can come together and make it happen. Thank you, Officer Williams, for chatting with us today. Thank you.